Good afternoon, all of you. Um, great to see all of you here. And uh, uh, my name is Evelungen Åkerlund. I am the CEO of uh, Xintela, and I can tell you it's a very happy CEO standing here today, and I will, will tell you why. So, um, let me see here. How do I move this? No. So that, tack, 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 tack. So, so we are sitting right here at uh, Medicon Village, a uh, great place to be. And uh, we're a team of 18 people and uh, listed on NASDAQ uh, First North Stockholm since about two and a half year ago. And uh, we're, and what I was going to say there is that we have a fantastic team. And uh, you will also see what this uh, team has accomplished. We also have a fantastic board with great experience from, uh, from uh, pharmaceutical drug development with, with Greg Klaas, Sven and, and Karin, and Sven also with, who has long experience in developing uh, cell therapy products. So our business, our product development is within cell therapy and oncology. And our current focus, that is on osteoarthritis and the glioblastoma. And our business is built on, um, on a proprietary, so patented cell marker technology platform. And um, our markers, they are present on cells. So cell surface pro proteins present on, on uh, specific cells. On chondrocytes, that's how we discovered this uh, integrin or this marker integrin alpha 10. Later on, we also discovered this integrin on stem cells, and we use that a lot today in our development. And also a few years ago, we discovered this integrin on, on uh, some cancer cells, and that is also an in inven invention that we are using. And we have developed antibodies that bind to the integrin markers, and we use these antibodies in our product development. We, and as you see there, you have a cell, and you have our marker sitting like a flag on the surface of the cell, and then we have developed antibodies that we use in different ways. We use these antibodies to quality assure cells, to quality assure chondrocytes, for example, cartilage cells. And we're using uh, this, uh, this idea in collaboration with a Japanese company, uh, Cellseed. Main focus we have to identify and select certain stem cells, high quality stem cells. And also we use these antibodies to target, target uh, cancer cells with a drug. So in cell therapy, uh, where we develop product for treatment of osteoarthritis for both humans and for animals. And osteoarthritis, as you know, is a huge, huge and growing problem. A uh, lot of people, a huge number of people suffer from, uh, from this disease. In Sweden, as you see, 25% of the population is uh, in Sweden. Over 45 is estimated to, to have osteoarthritis. So joints in knee, the knees, uh, hips, and, in, and the spine, and foot, and ankle, and so on, can, can, um, be, um, uh, can have damage cartilage and osteoarthritis. And there is no treatment. Today, we treat the symptoms. We treat pain and, and inflammation. Uh, and a lot of us with osteoarthritis end up with a joint replacement. It's very common. So what we do, we develop stem cells, off-the-shelf stem cells, it's called, for treatment of osteoarthritis. We use allogeneic. We isolate stem cells from uh, donated stem cells from adipose tissue. And what is good with this is with donated material, we can isolate and, and expand large number of cells. And from one donor, we can treat many, many patients. So this is a very cost-effective cost uh, treatment. And uh, the cells will be injected into the joint, so it's also a very easy procedure, one-step procedure for the patients. We do something that is unique for Xintela. And what is unique for us is, as again, our marker technology. So we use our markers to select specific stem cells. So if you see there <coughs> to the left, you have what the preparation of stem cell can look like. A lot of uh, different kind of cells, very heterogeneous. But with our marker, we can select to gain a very high quality, pure population of stem cells. And of course, this has great advantage, advantage for function, but also great advantages for regulatory uh, reasons. So with this, with this technology, we can really get a defined and a consistent stem cell product. 
we know that our stem cells, they um, have a, a great effect. They have a high differentiation capacity. So the blue ones you see there are stem cells. They can become chondrocytes and they start to produce in brown there the cartilage molecule. While cell stem cells that do not have our intubin marker uh, lack this differentiation capability. So they're not really so good stem cells. And uh, there are many other advantages al also, except for the conogenic differentiation. They have immune modulatory capacity, they have anti-inflammatory capacity, and also we can see that they're home to the da damaged cartilage. So with this, we have built a very safe and effective stem cell therapy to stop further development of osteoarthritis, to help the cartilage to heal, and also to reduce the need for joint replacement surgery. We have evaluated our stem cells in a horse model, a horse with post-traumatic osteoarthritis. So we, uh, in the ankle joint there, one with damaged cartilage, one joint received 20 million cells, was injected into, into, uh, into the joint, and the other received no cells, just, just uh, uh, like a saline, a, a buffer. This was done in, in US in collaboration with Lisa Fortier. And after six months, we analyzed the data. And we found really positive results from this horse study. The cells were safe to use and they were also effective. So we could see significant less cartilage damage in the joint that received the stem cells and also less bone sclerosis. So here you can see the picture here showing, uh, or we can start with this one. This is a damage without any cells and six months after the damage in the joint that received our cells, the, the, um, there was less damage. So the, the cells really did something good, great in, in these joints. And this was also significant, which is shown in this figure here. So that was, of course, great, great news for us. Another great thing is that we have built our own GMP facility for manufacturing of stem cells. So we now can produce our own stem cells for clinical studies. So I can you know, tell you a lot of uh, many positive uh, parts that come with this, of course, uh, uh, money-wise, but also full control and flexibility of our, um, of our production. So we, we have built, in this short time, we have built a really strong position in stem cell therapy. We have a proprietary market technology and stem cell platform. We have an in-house GMP manufacturing of stem cells. And we now plan to start clinical studies uh, next year and then or next year in OA patients. So we reached important milestones, as I said, positive preclinical results in horses, scaled up production in a bioreactor that is now ready, and we built our own GMP facility. We have also gained new or made new invention in the cell therapy field to also develop method to isolate neural stem cells. So that can have great impact for treatment of, of brain damage and uh, after trauma or degenerative diseases. And this is something that I hope I will be able to talk about uh, at an, uh, some other time. So, uh, and the milestones for the stem cell project we will now, uh, before the end of the year, we plan to start a new horse study to investigate mechanism of action. We will plan to have a GMP, fee, GMP facility ready to, to produce stem cells for clinical studies. And also we are in the process now to finalize the negotiation with Codon, the German company, uh, regarding uh, a joint venture together with them to develop OA therapy in humans. So next year, plan to start a clinical study in humans, identify co-development partner for the, uh, for the animal health, for OA therapy in animals. And uh, certainly also we do a lot of um, work with other possible indications. We also plan to do preclinical evaluation, new indication for stem cell treatment, where neuro stem cell field is one area. So, um, so that was about the stem cell part. And the last minute, I'd I like to say a few words also about the exciting oncology. Uh, oncology, perfect, five minutes left. Yeah. Uh, where we develop, develop new cancer therapy. 
and uh, the focus is the brain tumor glioblastoma. It's a very aggressive form of, of brain tumor and the most common in, uh, in adults. We discovered a few years ago that our integrin marker is present on glioblastoma cells, so tumor cells in this form of tumor. This picture here shows a tissue from a, a tumor, uh, from a cancer glioblastoma patient, and the brown staining it is actually the staining of our marker on the, on the tumor cells. So we had developed a new treatment method. We are using again our marker, our antibodies. In this case, we have a, a toxin uh, in com combination with the, anti uh, with the antibodies. We develop what is called an antibody drug conjugate, ADC. So, um, and we have shown that this antibody binds to glioblastoma cells and uh, can deliver the toxin uh, to, to the tumor cells. We have generated positive uh, preclinical results. We've shown that our ADC bind to the glioblastoma cells, which you see there <coughs> in, in the upper picture there. And also we've been able to show that this ADC has a killing effect. It kills the tumor cells both in cell studies and in animal models. So this is really great news. So in the oncology project, we have also reached a very important milestone. We have, uh, we have a shown that we have a therapeutic target with large potential in, in oncology. We have received pre uh, positive preclinical results in the glioblastoma, and we've also uh, identified additional indications. So we can see there is a broader use of our ADC program. And importantly, we have also decided to spin out the oncology business to a new company, which we call uh, or has named Targinta, targeting integrins. And we have really given uh, Targinta a great kickstart with the press release that we did this morning. So we have announced now that we have um, signed with Catalent, a large American company, expert in or world leader in ADC technology, to co-develop brain cancer therapy. I think this is really, really great news for, for Xintela. So in the, in the co collaboration, we will use our antibodies working uh, on our target molecules, our uh, target experience together with Catalan's ADC technology. And uh, we will co-finance the development and jointly work to develop a, uh, an optimal ADC that then will be out-licensed to, um, to a third party. So in the milestones then for the oncology project, so there here I already reach the first one to find a co-development partner for the ADC development. And certainly we will start the ADC development now this year for clean, uh, to, uh, uh, to work to, to reach clinical studies and commercialization. So the coming years there will be a lot of work to do preclinical evaluation of the ADC candidates in vitro and in vivo. A lot of toxicology studies. We will also from the beginning start to identify potential licensing partners. And, um, uh, and also work to, uh, to get proof of concept for new oncology integrin, uh, new oncology indications. And we have already generated a lot of data for this. So finally, I'd just like to announce some news that we had out a few weeks ago, which is also extremely positive for Xintela. When Bauerfind became a new major owner in Xintela, so Bauerfind invested 50 million Swedish kroner in Xintela. This was a directed share issue that was now approved a little bit more than a week ago. And Bauerfind is a, it's a German company, family-owned company with bis business in orthopedic products, and um, it has an, an annual revenue of 225 million USD. So you understand that with the, with this. Um, new owner on board in, in Centella, we're really, really happy. And this stable and I have to say enthusiastic owners, I can say our, our future is bright on, also on the financial side. So with that, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Evi. <coughs> Seems like you have, uh, have had a really busy month. Yes, 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 yes. yes. In, in, in the best sense of the word. Mm. Uh, like you mentioned there, you, you, you actually cancelled the rights issue 
yeah. quite quite un unexpectedly because of uh, this uh, opportunity with Bauer Fund. Yeah. Um, can you tell us anything about the background to that? Because it came kind of suddenly, it seemed. Yeah. Well, I guess when when you get the opportunity, you just have to grab it. Sure. <laughs> That's what we did. We had Lord learned to. We had met uh, Bauer Fund. Um, a few times together with Codon, since we, uh, Barfine is also a, um, a major owner of Codon, this German company that we discuss um, joint venture with. Mm. So we had met uh, Barfine a few, a few times, so they got to, to know Sintela, and they really got to like what we do, our technology, our team, the enthusiastic team, and mm. so on. And then uh, they, um, they informed us that they wanted to make a major investment. Mm. And then, uh, on a with a broader perspective, then uh, on on uh, on Sintela's development, so, so even beyond beyond the uh, the the, uh, the discussions that we have the code on, so, they, so that was, uh, and then we, um, um, well, to uh, in order to really to be able to cancel the new share issue, we also told them that. Uh, we have to come up with something then that is very, very, you know, positive for Xintela and for Xintela's owner. And you owners. sure did. And we sure did. And so we gave them this offer mm. and they also thought it was a good deal for them. So we were all happy. Mm. Yeah, they must have been really enthusiastic because they paid a 100% premium uh, over the, the, yes. the, the, the stock price at the time. Yes. So that was great. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, like you said, you're, you're actually in the process of spinning out your oncology project, and now you you go into this uh, collaboration with Catalent. Um, how would that affect the the spinning, the outspinning process, in so to speak? Well, certainly it will be. It's very positive, as I said. Uh, when we now have uh, this deal on board, this will form a great foundation for for uh, Targinta mm. to, uh, to to build further on. Yeah. So I think this is a great kickstart for the company. Mm. And we, as I said, we start with glioblastoma, but we we know uh, we have. Um, there is a lot more uh, exciting work for us to do within Inks and Inks in the Taginta. So I think mm. uh, this deal with, um, uh, with Catalent uh, was very timely mm. for Taginta. So it will be extra positive to do the spin-out or yeah. the, yeah. No. So you're actually combining the, the best of two technologies and into a strong partnership. And then you're looking to out-license, you said, to a third party. That uh, is correct, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, of course, that's a process that will take some time, yeah. I guess. We have a few years of work mm. together, yeah. and uh, if this, if Sintela decide to take uh, the development further um, after this uh, preclinical work, that is also possible. So we have many uh, opportunities here in this collaboration. Yeah, seems like you have uh, a lot of possibilities coming up. Uh, every, we're going to talk more with you uh, in a little bit, but I'd like to thank you so much. For now. All right. Thank, thank you. you very much. Warm hand.